Hey, hi. Welcome. Welcome back to another episode of Finding Fish here where we talk um, all things fishing, whether it's kayak fishing, boat fishing. I enjoy all of it, but I mainly focus on the kayak. And today I want to talk to you a little bit about some cold water safety. Uh, I don't know about you, but um, the water is quite cold. It's still a cold time of the year. And I want to see everybody safe. Um, I think it's important that you consider safety first, safety first. We can always catch another fish but safety first. So on today's episode, we're going to explore safety first um, and talk about some of the equipment that's out there, some of the things that I have that I just want to pass along to you that you might find helpful to be able to support you and your kayak or cold water fishing. Stay tuned. Welcome back in, to the um, Finding Fish channel. My name is Dr. Peter Ely, also known as the Professor um, at Finding Fish. I'm so happy to be here with you on today talking about a very, very important topic. We're talking about cold water safety, cold water safety. Um, a couple of years ago, I did not realize how um, important cold water safety was. I just thought the most you would do would get cold, and that was out of my ignorance. And if somebody else has that ignorance, I want to make sure that we fix that as much as possible today so that if you do find yourself in a cold water situation um, or you think you're going to one so that you can properly be prepared as much as possible um, as you can see there's a small amount of bass over here to my uh, over my shoulder here and I remember the day that we went out there and caught that it was like almost 20 you know the, the air temperature about 20 and I think the water was in like the low 30s so it was um, near freezing and um, I made it you know obviously I'm here talking to you but um, there were some things that I learned from that experience. And then a couple of weeks after that, we had a friend I was actually turn over that kayak in from freezing cold, cold water in Lake Norman in Charlotte. So I want to be able to talk with you about that. It's let's address that and give you some tips and comments of some of the things that um, I was able to do. So one of the things I was able to do, I got a wetsuit. I got a wetsuit. So a wetsuit. So a wetsuit versus a dry suit. A wetsuit. So a wetsuit is a... Is the suit the suit like you see like the neophone the neophone suit that uh, many guys do um, wear and what that does is it provides a level of protection for you it provides a level of protection for you but not all protection um, in most cases as you can see here uh oh let me get that for you, fix for you give me a second yeah I see yours truly here so as you can see here the difference here is the wetsuit is actually made to get wet. When it gets wet, this is the suit um, over here to my right where you see it like I'm standing inside my house. Um, that suit is made so that when it gets wet that it absorbs some water, but it, 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 it's really tight to your skin and it keeps you almost like a seal. Think like a seal or a layer of fat on your body. That's what that suit is really there to do. So um, we we'll ask the question, um, which um, of these suits um, do you want to use, right? Which to use, which to choose, or both, right? Which to choose or both, because you have a, a, you can choose one or the other, but, um, but you might want to um, use both, all right? And then we're talking about the dry suit. A dry suit is actually a suit that is completely dry, um, that you put on and you won't get wet at all, but you can still get cold. You won't get wet at all, but you still can get cold. So we want to talk about these today, and we're gonna go in a little bit um, detail with them as. Um, we go forward. All right. So let's. I want you to see um, a little bit. So I actually have a combination where I use both suits, and I want to introduce you to that. To that, and I know one of the bigger things is me being a larger guy. I have I hear a lot of talk out there that said that they don't have them that fit larger guys. It's only you know guys who are below six feet, 150, 160, 160 pounds. That's not true. Um, I found one, and I found one, and I did not break the bank to get it. So I want to be able to share that information with you. And I want to show you, number one, the process of getting this thing on. Let's, let's go over to the tape. Hey, Fire and Fish. Um, Peter Ely back here with you again today. I'm going to talk to you today a little bit about cold water fishing and some of the equipment. Um, I'm not by no means an expert, but it just is um, me sharing with you um, some of the things that I've done and try to prepare yourself for cold water. Um, none of us never know. When anything can happen around cold water, so you always want to try to be prepared 
as much as possible. One of the things that I did on last year is I bought a wetsuit. And um, the wetsuit, I mean, it worked great. Um, I did get really cold. It's fairly, I can't remember exactly what the thickness is. I'll go back and put that in the description. But um, this wetsuit, like I said, for me, um, did work wonders. And I wore this on last year. And I will attempt to put this on. So, so as you can you see, that's a Neopon wetsuit, um, Neo, Neo like Sport. I just bought that right off Amazon. Maybe see. two, three hundred dollars. I don't remember. I was like maybe a couple of hundred dollars. So um, basically, what this is going to do is going to insulate you against the cold and it kind of clamps down. Um, I've since then also gotten a um, I have a full dry suit now. Um, after doing some more research, I said, "Well, I realized that that would only keep me for a little bit." But if it actually fell in the water. You want something much more than that. Um, 50 degrees, 60 degree water, um, that stuff can um, kill you pretty fast, even if you are a good swimmer, um, from what I understand it. So I have a dry suit here. And uh, by the way, I'm a big guy. I'm over right at six foot three. I'm about 270, 280. And I know people say, well, they don't make um, wet suits for big guys. But I, I mean, a dry suit for big guys. But I found one here from um, Crusader, the, uh, I guess you call it a counterman. And it wasn't that much, actually, in hindsight. If I knew what I knew now, I would have just bought this to begin with. So I want to say that was the um, wetsuit was probably about 200 bucks, two, 300, um, between there. And this right here, I paid like maybe right at three or four for. And it actually came with another piece here. And I will demonstrate to you in this video. Um, as you see, it has like the little um, vacuum seal here. And I'll open this up here. Um, so it opens up like a ziplock, and it actually came with another undergarment um, to put on up under there. So this will be part of your layering. Um, I, for one, I'm going to attempt to layer with my um, the undergarment is made out of like I don't know if that's going to be overkill. It's going to be too much. The undergarment there it's snowing is out. You know, it's snowing outside, so it's very cold out there, and I want to try it. The armor, undergarment here is made out of like a fleece material, so it's what they call your base layer. You hear people talking about base layer. Latex boot already made into it, so you should be completely dry. So I want to see about warmth, and at some point in time, I'm actually giving some water, some frigid water, and see what it do. Um, that's all I just wanted to share these tips with you. Again, on top of that, of course, you got the, I wish in hindsight, I'll tell you, I got the NSF booty. Uh, I'm not super happy with it, um, but that, you know, obviously, as you probably already know, they're very hard to find, especially the boundary boot. I said NSS, no, it's so NRS. I'm thinking cars that morning. I was thinking cars. <laughs> My mistake. So uh, this right here, it didn't say exactly what this, how thick one this is, but um, me, third, size 13, big shoes are hard to come by, but I did get these on last year. So I'm looking for my cold water setup to be a combination of um, what I would prefer. This is like an undergarment that maybe you can wear when it gets a little warm. But if it's really cold out there, what I want to try is to put this on <laughs> with this. It might be a close, you know, like I said, it's a lot of me right there. So it might be a little tight. And I'm like I said, I've already had this on. I could actually get in this um, fairly well. But um, it also has the little... That's the things on the bottom. So, um, oh, and then the little thing over the top. So this is pretty cool, like I said, but um, my attempts to do that. So let's see how this works out. Okay. By the way, I've never tried it. Um, like I said, I've worn this suit before. I just bought that one for myself for Christmas this year. So I haven't, I've tried it on just to make sure I can wear it. That's been pretty much it. Have I tried this on with this? I don't know. This might be a fail. All right, so either you're going to see something great or you might get entertained. And, yeah, you kind of have to shimmy into these things. At least I do. So let me tilt that camera down a little bit for you. And let's the show begin, I guess. Oh, I usually always try to wear at least some shorts under there uh, myself. Because, um, like I said, I have gotten wet. These do have the reinforced knee pads on 
like I said, it's been a while. I've worn this maybe two times. Uh, we fished in like 30 degree weather at Lake James and um, right outside Marion, North Carolina. And that water was, that day, I want to say it was like 30 degrees. And um, it kept me warm the entire day. Also, I think I have a top here. I forgot the, the hat. Oh. Now this thing here will definitely keep you warm. This is like I said, this is the Neil Sport to actually go with that. Has a little hole on the top, a little vent, so that you just want. So the only thing about this thing is, just, you know, I wear glasses. I need my glasses to see. Um, I've never worn my contacts to fish because I know if I stick my hand even close to my eye, that's it for that contact for the day. But this is fairly straightforward. I've worn this on multiple occasions, though, even when I'm not wearing a wetsuit because if the wind is whipping, this thing blocks the wind wonderfully. So um, it really blocks the wind, and like I said, this one really does suck in my face. And the only thing about it, like I said, me wearing glasses, so I didn't have to stick it back in there, so it's kind of tight. So I do get that part on there. But you can see here, this is not that bad. Let so that's, that's on. That's a done deal. So... Um, and then I normally try to stick my glasses back on under here. And um, this is normally how I work. So, and then this is up under the suit. But it's a little hot right now, so I'm going to do this later when we get outside. Um, but like I said, you got a little vent. Normally, like I said, if I need a little air, I'll do something like this or whatever um, while I'm out there. But like I said, it does a great job of blocking the wind. And like I said, it has a little vent hole on the top. I don't know. Maybe I lost weight since last year, but it was a little tighter than this last time. So, uh, boy, that thing hot. I already got hot that quick. But um, if you need a good wind blocker, that thing really does the job. All right, back to this. Uh, uh. Some work. If you're gonna be out there trying to catch the big ones, though, you gotta put your time on it, yeah. So, uh. Woo. And remember, you want it fairly snug against your skin because that's how it works. So, some say, Oh, this is too little. No, it's actually just right. Um, my knees are a little bit lower than they should be, though. Uh. And if you ain't fighting to get this thing on, it's probably not tight enough. So you can see he's got knee pads. That's me. That's how I know I have it on right for me. And I pull it on up here. See, that's on the knee. Okay. Here comes the part. Stretch you with shimmy, the shimmy, 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 y'all. Okay. Got to pull this. This is always the toughest part. But it does have that nice. Oh, I almost made that mistake. This so you can pull it all the way up over your back. Yeah, I have a tail there. Like so. <laughs> all right. Oh, here we go. I have a guy I have a broad shoulder. All right. That's one on me. Whew, this is work. Okay. Two arms in. I know. I'm in there, and then you grab this, and you see to pull it over the back, and pull straight up. Sometimes I can get somebody to help me zip this up, but oh, I'm almost there. Yeah, at this point, you're about to see several I know, things all to do this. Cold water fishing up on because my t-shirt kept getting caught here, and I realized that for a moment. So I'm gonna skip through this for you a little bit. Let me shoot the thing, and maybe that won't be a thing. Yeah, Fallon got it on. Yeah, I know some say, "Oh, you look crazy," but I'm gonna look alive too. But um, and this actually goes inside, so sometimes. I tuck this down in the inside of that, um, and we go on. But 
I'm not right now, but I'm telling you, this thing is extremely so this is my wind resistant. Man, see, I like to Again, I'm a big guy. I think so I'm about 275, 280, and I'm six foot three, as you can see. Again, want to remind big guys that you can get this suit on, um, and you should get it on. I mean, it's cold, but you see it's there, nice and snug, and therefore it can trap out the water and keep me warm. Somebody's life, then I don't care how bad I look, especially if it saves mine. All right. Whew, this thing is so now you down. notice they are looking like a stuffed whale. <sighs> okay. Those things Man, are really hot. Part. You don't realize how hot that thing is until you start getting it on and now i'm going to attempt to go ahead and put this um dry suit on on top of it i've never done it before um i want i would like to use the dry suit as a base layer and this is my attempt to see if it will work as a base layer so at christmas after seeing a couple of youtube videos from guys and it's like you know your life is worth <laughs> sorry i'm bringing my other camera out in a minute and um we'll get that shot in for you Make sure that. So I'm trying to step right, into the number. Let me get they this have thing. latex feet on there. The feet are already on there. As far as latex, they are connected. They're not booties. Right. Well, they are booties, but the booties are already connected to the seat, as you can see. Snug we'll get some air in there. You have to push that air out of there. Okay. Yeah. Up the side. Snug on the feet. See, there's a little air in there, so you want to get that air out. And you put that in there. You walk around like a balloon. All right. I am literally burning up. Whew. All right, let's go. And here comes the tricky part. All right. I wasn't sure if this was going to work. All right, so the suit is up, but I have very broad shoulders. I ain't going to say I'm Dwight Howard, but I got broad shoulders. And now it's getting these shoulders in, this little zip thing, and then over my head because these are here, these are here, and there's a neckline thing like over there. All right, wish me luck. Okay, we're gonna try this. Never done it before, so we're gonna see. All right, so that's on. As you see, these things are sealed, I mean, it's sealed down. So when I get it on, you see how I'm just snapped in there? So, I mean, it, it actually a very good seal, by the locks, way. locks in. As you can tell, I'm sweating. So, like I said, really I think I had no problems with staying warm. All right, that's one side. Bad boy sweating. All right, here come the other side. This is the one. I got to put this down just a little bit here. So, I find out and a little later that it's better to start with the lower side. These smaller guys don't have these and problems, And also, right? make sure you pull it over your head before really you put your other arm in there. And I'm going to pull your arm back a little bit. It's yeah. shimmy, but then once you get it over you, you're in there. You're you know what I'm saying? That's a lot of work to go fishing. You love to spend as much as some of us do. It's minimum compared to what you have to do to get ready. Yep, I'm going to the button. Let's try this side first because it's going to got the high and low. Okay. Yeah, like I said. And then they got where you can strap them down too. All right. Whew. Man, this is some hard work getting this thing. Imagine getting on this thing at the dock. Okay. Yeah. The other side here. Where's my naked? Oh. They kind of remind me of Ace Ventura and the pet detective when he comes out of that rhino. He's trying to get your head to come out that rhino right there. Oh. <laughs> this is trying to get my arm in here. You got them long arms like mine, and then you got to pull all the way through. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it. Huh, seems to. This thing, oh, you, this thing is really like good. sealed tight on my neck. Ain't no water getting in there, but. All right, man, here comes the other part. Got that in there. I mean, really, this thing is so tight. Almost like it's got my neck circulation off. Now I'm going to zip back down. Zip it down, lay this thing down. It zips properly. So. Always zip down right. at an angle. You don't want to rip it. 
lay it down, and pull it down. Woohoo! Alright. Oh, yeah, yeah. Why? Close it all the way down. Squeezing the air out. So, at this point, I'm just squeezing the air out of it, and I want to take you to the next video when I actually go outside with it on. That day at my home was about, ooh, what was the temperature that day? Uh, I want to say it was in the low third, no, it was in the 20s. It was in the 20s. So I wanted to see, you know, how it went outside. So here we go outside. All right, gang, I'm outside. I feel nothing. It's snow on the ground here. Plenty of it. As you can see here, I'm walking around out there. I'm all pumped up, and I just want to see. Now my hands were cold. Um, yes, my hands were cold because I didn't have nothing on my hands. But you can see all I have on is the NRS booties um, with those latex um, feet that's already made in there. I'm gonna lay down here in a little bit, to try to see if I'm gonna get wet in the snow. You can feel the cold against you, or any of those things. And um, I, I, I did. Um, it was, you know. Um, very very warm um i felt like i can go out here and i could fish and you can see me walling in there in the snow like a beach well um and just you know seen the initial test seemed to work pretty good now i still need to actually hit the water to make sure everything is 100 percent waterproof uh, i'm not gonna say and tell you i'm looking forward to jumping in freezing cold water but um i will test the suit before i got there just to make sure i know what i got um so that if if the time comes and I hope it never comes, but if the time does come that I am prepared and um, and that I can come back um, the same way I left um, and be safe and be whole. So I do encourage you um, to consider a wetsuit. So now we're going to go back here. I just want to show you now how to get out of this thing, how you take this thing off. Because just as the way it was putting it on, it was a little bit to take it off. <laughs> Now comes the farting part. You get to see me try to get out of this. So you saw how I got in for getting out. Whew. Let's see. So I've had in the past, I've had some problems getting in and out of this um, suit sometimes. But today it is not that bad. All the way back. It's important to get all the way back. So you notice you got to lay it all the way back and you want it to go as far back as it's possible, especially if you're a big guy um, like me. You need all the room to get in and out of that thing. So you lay it all the way back, open up those arms. Then at this point, you just kind of got to shimmy out of this thing, too. Um, the same way you shimmy it in, you shimmy out. I'm throwing my arm and I'm catching it. Yeah. Okay, I'm making progress here. But I realized, take the head off first. Place. So that's how I put it on. And when I did that, that made it a lot easier. All right, there we go. And once you get your arms out, the rest of it just come off. So for me, my arms, my thing. shoulders, I believe. Not like that. Um, not that bad. Get this arm free. Get this arm free. I'm home free. Yeah, big guy problem. There we go. Now we get. Now the rest of it's easy. What happened? You got big shoulders. Now the rest of it's pretty straight. So now I'm out of the dry suit. Oh, by the way, it also has um, like suspenders in the inside of it um, for you to wear it to make sure it stays up. I just had to put them on. I don't have that problem. But if you're a little, if you like tall skin, maybe you do. Again, dry suit, nice deal here. Uh, I found this dry suit on Amazon. Amazon. I bought it. Um, no, I looked for it on Amazon, but I ended up buying it from a, a dry suit place, and you'll find that like information there in the um, description. For so those of you, I hope you enjoyed this. Please subscribe to the I channel, really and I hope that you learned a lot about this. I'm going to show you to get this. 
Put the suit off here. This is my wetsuit. All one piece. Doesn't have any feet in it. Ugh. As you can see, these reinforce. The yeah, elbows are. To get this wetsuit off. Yeah. Uh, it can be a little beast too. Oh, here it is. Seven. It's a seven one five millimeter. So. Seven one five. Seven one five millimeter. Millimeter. Thickness on this. On that. Now, just show me out of this for you. Let me down. So here, very important. Grab that. And pull pull it down, down at an angle. Straight down. Right here. Me. Under it. Released. Woo. And you just roll out of this. Peel out of that thing too. As you That's can see, my t-shirt is wet. I'm soaking wet. Yeah, I'm soaking wet. Why? I told you this thing was hot. So this thing has will keep you warm. Now, if you watch the beginning of the video, all I did is put this on. I went outside, hot down the hill, I came back, and I'm soaked. T-shirt is wet. So do keep that in mind. Like I said, sometimes when I wear it, I don't even wear a t-shirt because I know I'm going to get soaked. So I put this down and just keep rolling this thing on down. And then fall right on my shirt. So I'm see my shorts. Nothing there. Then you just... All right, guys, so I know this video is a little bit longer, but I think it was important. I want to make sure that my big guys saw that, hey, we can be safe in cold water. There are wetsuits and dry suits out there that um, that you can find. I do not um, endorse one or the other. I'm not sponsored by anybody, but this is just my attempt to be able to say, let's make a cold water safety video of just some of the equipment that's out there that's available to all of us, especially us big guys. I hope that you found this to be a, um, a help to you. I ask that you do one thing please subscribe to the channel please subscribe to the channel and share this video with somebody else that you believe will help god bless you all love you all gospel professor signing off until the next time tight lines and be safe